Good afternoon, everyone. This is Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Thursday, November the 4th. And I'm here again for daily devotions. Uh, Pastor's not in the office today, so I'm um, sitting in for him this, this afternoon. Our reading is going to be from Matthew chapter 22, starting at the 23rd verse. So if you'd like to follow along, you may turn there now. The same day, Sadducees came to him who say that there is no resurrection, and they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said if a man dies having no children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up offspring for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died, and having no offspring, left his wife to his brother. So too the second and third, down to the seventh. After them all, the woman died. In the resurrection, therefore, of the seven, whose wife will she be? For they all had her. But Jesus answered them, You are wrong, because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels in heaven. And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is not God of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astonished at his teaching. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And he said to them, said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. We're going to stop there for today. Um, so in this passage, we have both the Sadducees and the Pharisees taking turns uh, questioning Jesus and uh, uh, trying to um, trap him in their questions. So first, the Sadducees, um, who first of all do not believe that there is a resurrection. They do not, they say that there is no resurrection. And so they come to, to Jesus asking him this question about the resurrection. They say, well, this man married a, a woman and this man died. She was passed along to all the brothers. And in the resurrection, whose wife should, will she be? Well, this is a strange question for them to be asking since they don't believe in the resurrection. Um, but Jesus mentions um, he answers them by saying that at the resurrection, people will not, uh, or people will be like the angels, not in the sense that people become angels when they die or that they gain their wings, but in the sense that angels are not, uh, do not marry and they're not given in marriage. And that's um, what Jesus is meaning with that response there. And then um, after the Pharisees hear that the Sadducees did not get an answer that they were looking for, uh, they decide to question Jesus, and they say, uh, they ask, what's the greatest commandment? And of course, Jesus responds with, love the Lord your God. And uh, then the second is, love your neighbor as yourself. And so we know that looking at the Ten Commandments, there's two tables. We've got the first three, which deal with our relationship with God, and then uh, the rest of the commandments deal with our relationship with our neighbor. And so with those two commandments, he summarizes the whole uh, of the Ten Commandments. Um, and say uh, which commandments um, they are to follow. So that is our reading for today. Our hymn for this afternoon is going to be hymn uh, 658, Preserve Your Word, O Savior. That's in our uh, Lutheran Service Book hymnal. And we're going to do just the first verse. Preserve your word, O Savior, to us this latter day, and let your kingdom flourish, enlarge your church, we pray. Oh, keep our faith from failing, keep hope's bright star aglow, let nothing from truth turn. While living 
I will conclude with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for today's daily devotion. Um, just a few announcements. This Saturday, we have our youth mini retreat over at Faith Plano. So um, that is what the youth will be doing this weekend. Uh, and then as well as Sunday, we have our youth confirmation. Um, we will not be having women's Bible study this Monday as I will not be here for that. Um, and for other announcements, please be sure to check out our uh, email newsletter as there are, as we try to put all the announcements out there for you to look at in advance. So hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday.